Hello, my name is Eric Brumer and I'm a developer on the C++ Compiler Optimizer team. I'm going to demonstrate the power of the auto vectorizer and auto parallelizer improvements we've made in Visual Studio 2012. This is a computationally intensive ray tracing application that simulates rays of light bouncing off of objects to produce a realistic looking image. It's written in portable, parallel C++ code using the Visual Studio 2010 compiler. To enhance realism, we're going to add a Gaussian blur to the resulting ray traced image. As you can see, this drags the frame rate down significantly. It runs around one and a half frames per second. The blur filter is representative of heavy workloads that read, write, and compute quantities of data. Things like image processing or audio processing algorithms, mathematical operations also fit the bill. As you can see in the task manager, we're not able to achieve broad CPU utilization on this workload. In other words, the ball isn't bouncing very fast. Here's the same application uh, with the blur already enabled, compiled with Visual Studio 2012. First thing you'll notice is the ball is bouncing faster. It's achieving around 16 frames per second. And as you can see in the task manager, we're using all 40 cores to their maximum yielding around a 10x performance boost. By vectorizing and parallelizing the key loops in the blur filter, we're able to use all the available horsepower on this 40-core machine. All 40 vector units are being used to do the ray tracer computation. This piece of code is the hot loop in the Gaussian blur. Nearly all of the execution time doing a blur is spent in these five lines of code. The compiler is able to auto-vectorize this loop, which yields a large performance benefit for the application. Starting with Visual Studio 2012, auto-vectorization comes for free in release mode. Auto-parallelization is enabled by a compiler switch with optional source code pragma hints to guide the optimizer. The compiler can now make an informed decision about parallelism based on the user's source code and based on the user's workload. This is the reason why we're able to achieve 100% utilization on a 40-core machine when doing this ray tracing and Gaussian blur operation. Moreover, compiler optimization and analysis applies to all code and will benefit all customers of Visual Studio 2012.